Hi. In this video, we are going to take a look at self-service portal that allows you to manage your virtual infrastructure. We are going to cover what self-service portal can be used for, how you can access the portal, general portal layout and navigation, the main and management pages within the portal, and finally, we are going to create a couple of users and assign them to some projects. Before we begin, let's talk about domains and projects for a bit. The cloud allows users to create and manage virtual objects and infrastructure, like virtual machines, virtual networks, images, and so on. In Virtuoso Hybrid Infrastructure, cloud providers allow their users to do so using special containers with resources called projects. The resources available within the project, such as CPUs, RAM, disk space, and so on, are controlled by cloud provider. The way these resources are utilized is controlled by users with project member role. Projects and project members are tied together through domains. Usually, domains are named after your company, such as in our case it is called ABC-Inc. This flexible setup allows to control which projects individual users can manage. Users that have permission to assign other users to projects within the domain are called domain administrators. Using self-service portal, you can create new users and assign them to projects and manage virtual machines and virtual infrastructure within such projects. You cannot, however, create new projects or change the resources available within certain projects. For that, you will need to contact your cloud provider. Let's talk about how you can access self-service portal. Your service provider will give you the link to the self-service portal and login details. Login details will usually consist of domain name, username, and password. In our example scenario, we are provided with account details you can see on the notepad on our right. We have the link to the portal, domain name, username, and the password that was pre-generated by service provider. I have already opened the login page, so let's enter the domain name the username and the password and press sign in. We will be greeted with the monitoring page for one of the projects within the domain. Let's talk about general portal layout and navigation options. On the left, there is a view switch bar where you can in project page switch between monitoring and compute. In the middle, you will have a working area currently in monitoring the monitoring widgets. And on the top right, there are buttons for switching between different projects, entering the domain page, and managing our account. ABC admin account we are using is a domain administrator, so let's see what our domain looks like. Click on the down arrow by the project name to reveal the list of available portal pages and select abc inc with the globe icon to switch to the main view. The main page has two views, user and project, which you can see on the left bar. By default, we are greeted with user list and a single entry for abc admin, which we are currently logged on as. Clicking anywhere on the user will reveal the panel on the right with user details. On the project view, the main administrators can interact with project in different ways. Clicking on the project name itself will bring you to the project management page. And clicking elsewhere will reveal the right panel with properties, member list, and quotas. Properties include name, description, and state of the project, and quotas define how many resources are available within the project. Both these settings cannot be changed from the self-service panel and are controlled by your service provider. Let's talk about how you can control users. You can create new users from different places within the interface. However, you can create more domain administrators only from users view, and you can assign project members specifically to one project from the project view. Let's create a couple of new users, Jane Doe and Adam Smith. Jane is a lead developer, so we will grant her access to R&D and testing projects. Adam is a system administrator responsible for accounting department systems and services, so we will grant him access on the accounting project. Let us create user for Jane first, 
from user view. I will press Create User button and fill in the details. We will leave the description blank for this time and select Project Member Role. From here, we are allowed to assign this user to some projects of our choosing. Now press Create, and the user is done. For the purposes of demonstration, let's create user for Adam Smith from the project view. As I was saying, he is working for the accounting department, so we will select Accounting, click Assign Member, Create Project Member, and fill in the details. Again, we will leave description field blank. Let's click Create. Select the newly created user from the list and click Assign. Notice that now we have a single member within every project and we can check who is that by checking the members list. Let's compare the views of the domain administrator and project member. For that, we will have to log out out of our ABC admin account by pressing log out in the user menu button. Notice that now we are not required to enter the domain name. That is because the domain name is now included in the URL. Let's log in as Jane now. Note that now we are greeted with R&D overview page instead of accounting page as before using ABC admin account. And in the dropdown, we only see projects the Jane Doe user assigned to, R&D and testing. The compute management view is identical between the domain admin account and the project member account. Let's log out and go back as an ABC admin. Switching to the domain page, in the user list, we can select any of the user except the one we are currently logged on as and disable it, preventing it from entering the self-service portal. Let's do that for Adam Smith. Select the user and click Disable. Now, if we try to log in as Adam, we will receive Logging has been disabled by the administrator prompt. Thank you for watching this brief introduction video. And I will see you in the next video in the series of managing your virtual infrastructure with the self-service portal.